Good day to everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use the basic formula in Microsoft Excel. For Excel basic formula, I am going to discuss the function of the following symbol, the plus sign. This is used for addition. The minus sign for subtraction. Asterisk is for multiplication and slash is for division. Okay, so it is very relevant, relevant that you know what is cell reference. Uh, cell reference refers to the name of a particular cell. Right now, the active cell reference is D4. So we can see the cell reference here on the name box. There you go, there's a toolkit, it's a name box. Okay, let's use the addition symbol to get the sum of value 1 and value 2. Okay, let's say, as I mentioned in my previous video, formula starts with equal sign. So we have, we're going to type u equal sign. What's the cell reference of 100? There you have the marching ants. Then we click plus sign. And then the cell reference of the second value. After which we hit the end. There you go. It displays the sum. Let's take a look at the formula. If the, the formula bar contains the formula, okay, so equal sign D4 plus D4. D4 refers to the cell reference of the value 100, while E4 refers to the cell reference of the value 150. Okay, while on the active cell, uh, the value of the active cell is 250. Okay, so the formula bar, the content of the formula bar is the formula itself, while on the active cell, that is the result of the formula. Okay, for subtraction, let's add here on cell D5, let's put the value, let's see the value is 1000, and for E5, let's put the value 200. Now let's get the difference. So equal sign, the cell reference of 1000 minus the cell reference of 200, and then we hit the enter key. So that's a subtract, a subtraction. That's the process. Okay. So always use cell reference for multiplication. Let's put some value. If we have here the value one is 100, and value two is five. Okay. So Let's just repeat the process. What we're going to do is to change the operation. Okay. Asterisk. And then the cell reference of 5. Hit the enter key. There you go. Let's check the formula of the formula bar. So D6, asterisk D6. For the vision, okay, same process. But before that, we're going to put value. I have 900 here and I have 300. Okay equal sign the cell reference of 900 divided by the cell reference of 300 and then we hit the enter key so very easy let's review what you're going to do is force you just use the correct symbol for every operation and the corresponding cell reference that you are going to use let us apply this one let's see this uh data under addition tab. So let's say, for example, um, we're going to complete the weighted task. So your first score for your weighted task is 10. Okay, let's assume that the number here is 20, number of items 30, and then 10, and then 20. Okay, so let's put some scores here. So your total score, this is total number of items. Number of items. Total number of items. So what's your total score? For quiz one, you have score 50. Quiz two, you have score 25. Written three, you have score of eight. And written four, you have score of 12. So we are going to get the sum. How are we going to get that? We can use this one. So the long method. Okay, let's do first the long method. We just make this plus. Plus, 
plus. We just add the plus. Okay. Let's say, for instance, uh, meron pa. Kung add pa. Plus lang. Until uh, C11. Plus C11. Okay, we hit the enter. So, of course, this is the long method. Ever, uh, we added, there is a written number 5, okay, and then the score. And let's put the score. Let's say 20. The total number of items is 20. And we get the sum of this one. Okay, here I use the long method, right? But here we will be using the autism function to get the total number of items. So how to do that? You just click the auto sum and then select sum. And then, okay, so let's check. We need to say on the sum function, the open parenthesis in the start. Where are we going to get the data? It's D5 is the start and it will end up to D11. So we need to say you're getting the sum of that uh, cell starting from D5 to D11. Then we hit the enter key. Yeah. There. Okay. That's addition. We go to subtraction. I say we're going to use this one. Uh, the total amount, C. Okay. I am going to use the equal sign to get the total value of this. Let's, let's use the equal sign. Equal sign meaning to say you are getting the value of a particular cell. Whatever the value of this cell will be uh, the same on this cell. Okay. So if ever I change, I have only quantity spare, but there are four. Of course, you already get. I already rather created the formula here. Multiplication. So I am getting the value 1,306.25. So I will be paying, let's say, for example, the buy and my money is 1,500. Okay. How much is my case? So let's apply this one. Yeah. Okay. Chains is equal to the amount tendered minus the total amount na babayaran para makuha natin yung suple. Okay, that's the case. So, very easy. Okay, we just apply what we learned here. Basic. Okay, let's go to multiplication. Let's multiply the, the, the quantity and the price. Let's say, for example, how much is the price of five whiteboard marker if uh, per item cost 45.5 so we use multiplication and the price times the quantity then you hit the enter key so e4 holds the value of 45.5 and d4 stores or holds the value of the quantity 5 so when you multiply you get the product there you go Okay, 227.5. Of course, we are not going to create the formula several times. As mentioned in my previous video, we can use the autofill to propagate. Excel has an autofill feature to propagate uh, days, numbers, and formulas. So, we just select this one. As you can see, the mouse pointer is very thick, makapat. Once you move it and over it on the square, it's this one small square that's the pin handle, it becomes very thin and it is not Then you just get up. Yeah, so very easy. Next for the vision. Are we going to apply that? Let's say we are going to determine how many dozens. How many dozens? So how many dozens from there are one thousand pieces of pencils? So it's equal sign. That's one slash and then dozens per player. Yeah, and 12 pieces because per dozen is divided to the enter key. So you'll be producing 83.3. So, yeah. To demonstrate how are we going to apply that? Basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. 
Microsoft Excel. If this video helps you, kindly click the subscribe and thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.